يا هاي الدار كل لحظة يتجدد يا عيال زايد دار البيت متوحد قولوا يا قطعة من الروح نرسل لك احنا شواك ويا حمام الدوح غاليين طيبين جينا نرد الدين والله نحبكم احنا العراقيين the tourism development and investment company and then can start working with the Department of Culture and Tourism. With the Department of Culture and Tourism I worked in business planning, business development, organizational design and development and professional development for the culture sector. So worked on a lot of projects so like the Louis Abu Dhabi, Zayed National Museum, um, the cultural projects in LA, all of the various different cultural projects I've worked on. Your company, it is your own company. Yes. You are the team of and you are responsible for all things. Yes. Tell me about the start, how it was, the idea, uh, how it's coming for you. Yeah, let's to remember together uh, the starting point. So, I have for quite some time had a desire to have my own business. Um, while I very much enjoyed my work. I did with DCT here and of working with my colleagues here. I have for a long time gotten very much interested in uh, professional development and wanting to work with both people and organizations to help them manage through periods of transition, periods of change, to make it's better for the people that work within the company. So it's all about making things better, making processes better, making your structure better. So what I work on is organizational design and development, business planning for 
um, new or small to medium sized enterprises, as, all, as well as working with individuals uh, with transformational coaching. So my specialism in coaching is um, career coaching and leadership coaching. Um, and working with people so that they can really reach their potential. When you decided to open your own company for your own uh, also for cargo, what average? Not thinking that uh, I'm here, I cannot. You tell me about the challenge when you started to work. Tell all people that they not start yet to do uh, their uh, best to uh, reach the goal. Well, I mean, I think when you start any company, you have an idea of what it is. And even with the best will in the world, with planning, and I did a lot of planning, what I do from a career perspective is business planning. So I know what you need to do to get all of the steps in place. It initially is a challenge, especially um, when you're not aware of all of the procedures or the offices to go to or the paperwork you need, etc. I found a very good company who helped me with the business setup side of things. Um, I found um, it very beneficial to actually pay for that service rather than trying to do it myself because they have the skills, the expertise, and they will figure, help you figure out the right type of license that you need to have for your business. Um, I think things are easier now because the licensing and the visa rules have changed. Um, I think, honestly, one of the biggest challenges I had in setting up my business myself was actually figuring out how to manage my time because I went from like either working all hours to going, oh, I don't have to do it today if I don't want to. <laughs> so changing from that being responsible for everything and all aspects of the business, not just the parts that you like to do yourself. So figuring out which parts you keep yourself, which parts you need to hire for, or which parts you would need to outsource for. So all of those are challenges. All the best for you, inshallah. In points, tell the people more about the kind of service in your company. Okay, so when I'm working with uh, individual companies, what I do is um, business planning, governance models, organizational design, and organizational development, as well as identifying things like competency frameworks and career planning frameworks for their employees. So that's what I do from a company perspective. I'm working with companies, and I do a lot of work with um, cultural and creative companies. Um, that's my passion myself. Um, so I prefer to work with people who are uh, and companies that are into the artistic and creative and cultural side of things. From an individual perspective, when I'm working with individuals, whether they're like a business person set on their own, an individual business person, or they're an individual who's looking to advance their career. Um, I do career and leadership coaching. I'm a PCC ICF credential coach. I'm also the director of membership for the ICF uh, UAE chapter, as well as working with individuals to help them really define what their purpose is and to figure out what they need to do to get where they want to go in their career. You come here from more than 15 years, right? You know how Emirates support all people. Yes, for any idea, for any uh, project, they support all people. So the competition is coming very high. And there is a uh, <clears throat> competition and uh, good mood for making the business better at the good. This competition, when you see your company and your business, uh, what's the difference? Is a question by another name. What's the question? Uh, what's the difference between your company and another in Central? So how do I differentiate myself? Uh, I love. <laughs> we. When you look at like management consulting or consulting companies, which is kind of the, the business area I get into, 
a lot of the very large consulting companies don't work for smaller businesses or for businesses that are establishing because they are either too expensive or they are offering a um, what you would call an international best standard. Whereas what I do is actually individually work with the companies, with the individuals, to really tailor and to really help them not find out what international best standard is, but applying international best standards for best fit to the company. Because knowing the cultural context, knowing how um, like legal frameworks work here, you know, labor law, civil service law, all of these things from a people development perspective, knowing how to really understand what the best governance and operating models are for them, not for a big business, not for, you know, how the, work, the rest of the world would do it, but knowing how to take those best practices and apply it directly to the context here. And I think, you know, the difference is it's very tailored, it's very bespoke to the individual needs, mm -hmm. rather than being a, um, a more standardized approach. One of the things that, from a dream perspective, is to continue to grow, to continue to get new business, to continue to be able to, I don't know, be someone that my kids are proud of. Uh, I think they are proud of me and what I do, and I think it is inspirational for, for them as girls as well, growing up in the way the world is now. Um, I think, from a business perspective, I'm never I would say, even though I'm a solo printer, I don't do it all by myself. I do have support. I do have um, either working with a freelancer mm -hmm. for a project or working with um, different services that I would pay for. I know where my my skill set is yeah. and I know where it isn't. So there are certain services that I will pay for. And it uses the services of other um, small business owners here, so it's creating this circle of on, um, entrepreneurial small businesses here. And I think the UAE is doing a really good job at helping people to start on that track. So, Madame. Uh, you know, is that the Marat is very sexy. And uh, Alhamdulillah, our leadership is a Shukh Marat, who is their best for me, and all people have had safety. So, if you want some sign for from your heart to the leadership steps for this country. Well, I, I think from a hugely great perspective, it's the way they've handled the last Two, two and a half years of this crisis. I literally started my business just the year before this crisis hit. And now I have 
still got a business and a business that is, is doing well and is thriving and it's down to the leadership's hand pandemic. They've managed to allow people not just to continue their businesses but allow other people to um, grow and you know they've helped with reducing costs, with reducing um, the entries and reducing the barriers of entry into entrepreneurship. I think if you look at a lot of the recent changes, what they've done has been amazing from visas, from licensing, from all the different opportunities that they have made available, especially over the past few years, they've been really making a huge difference to having homegrown businesses and not having to rely on all the companies from outside. For sure, thanks for all our shuk. Alhamdulillah, uh, all people are proud of them and are proud to work in this country. So, before we finish our interview, if you want to say thank you for someone near to your heart, someone support, someone um, trust you and you bring the camera with you, you can choose one or more in your family or your friends to say thank you and you also can say thanks. Okay. Well, I mean, I think, you know, as anybody who is doing a business, you have to say thanks to so many people. Obviously, my husband, Noel, um, who has supported me and allowed, and, you know, not in any way, shape or form prevented me from following my dreams. My kids, who are super patient with you know, the days I'm late from picking them up from school or, they, you know, when I would have to work weekends or evenings, which as a business owner, you have to do when you do everything yourself. And, you know, having a very supportive family is, is from a young age, my mom, my dad, they never really prevented us thinking that we couldn't do anything we wanted. So having that um, self-belief and confidence in yourself as a result of the fact that your family tells you you can do whatever it is you want to just go for it and so you do <laughs> from me and from uh, my uh, uh, team for your husband we say hi we say thank you so that you depended on this woman and help her for your mom and dad for sure and for your babies especially I tell them to be proud too much about your mother she is one strong woman and successful. Miss Anita, at last I thank you so much. I hope you all succeed in the future. And inshallah, every step in your succeeding, we will be with you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much okay. for having so much.